I am honestly not a person that normally gets up at 6.30 a.m. Or that willingly gets up at 6.30 a.m. But I knew that we had a long day ahead of us, so I thought, why not? And also, my mom wanted me to tell you thank you for the lovely birthday messages. She does read your comments, so she read your messages. <laughs> trying to collect my thoughts it is well it's 754 says on my clock but my clock is three minutes behind hi look what's look who's looking into my window hi honey anyways bus at the kitchen we have to be at the at the kitchen at eight to be ready to leave our apples in our orchard are not ready to be picked yet but even if they were, they're not enough apples for us. So anybody that doesn't want their apples contacts us and we go and we pick their apples basically. This morning we have to travel quite far, we have to travel an hour away from here and we have to pick at least seven trees. So I actually just got home from the kitchen. So I come home from the kitchen, I have five minutes to pack and then I have to be back. We had to pack our lunch because we are not going to be home. Last one, we think, maybe.
over 50. Oh, man. Oof. We are now going to be jumping ahead a day just so that I can show you what we do with all those apples. First things first, the apples need to be washed. This is usually a job for the youngest girls, but if they are busy doing something else, then anybody else is going to step in and help them wash the apples. After the apples have been cleaned, we wedge them. The ladies then take them and remove anything that needs to be removed. Stems, seeds, and also cut them in half if they are too thick which is important because if they are too thick the apples can get moldy and bad before they have a chance to dry properly the ladies that are canning that year and their helpers are in charge of getting the apples to the greenhouse and on the tables so that they dry the way we go about it on our colony is we don't like the apples to dry completely just set them in the greenhouse for a few days and then they get put into the oven and steamed after that they get grinded and are put into the freezer and we use them for desserts and for apple pierogies and we need a lot so most of the apples that we picked went for schnitz which right, schnitz are dried apples the rest of the apples are for making applesauce and juice juice we just wash them put them into the freezer until we have enough apples to make juice and for the applesauce we chop them put them into the kettle to cook for 20 minutes and then put them through the juicer and there's the applesauce and that's everything that we did with the apples that we picked and we cleaned them all up Here's your coffee Iced, preferably. Summer rolls. Cheers. We have summer rolls for supper and we have to make them. The ladies and the girls. So there goes my coffee. I guess I'll finish it when I get back. I guess I can take it with me. That was quick, but really, I was there. They said, the girls are probably tired, they should go home. The ladies are going to make them, which is very nice. It's been a long, hot day for us, so to the ladies, thank you, really, thank you. Our gardener and his wife actually gifted each of the girls a bag of these last week, which was really nice. This was amazing, and I brought them up to share with, uh, with my family, and well, to, to be expected. There are no more. But I did get some. If you're looking for good popcorn and you've never heard of these, there you go. These are amazing. These are the summer rolls that the ladies made today. And this is the sauce we have. It's a peanut sauce, but I'm not really a big fan of this sauce. I feel like um, this could use a whole revamp or whatever you want to call it. No, my angles are. The bee's knees. I can eat it, and I feel like a summer roll needs a sauce, so I do eat it. But I'm on the hunt for a recipe. I've had one before that has that has actual peanuts in it. It also has a little bit of a kick to it, so it spices up a summer roll quite quite a bit. So I have to find that recipe. Say, it's it's sweet. There's not even anything else. It's just sweet and peanuts. Mm -hmm. I've made this before. There are a ton of ingredients and all I can taste is peanuts and sweet. Peanut butter! Peanut butter and sweet. We also have choir this evening. <laughs>
Oh, 